Twice the laughs, twice the information, twice the pant size. Hey, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, laughs, community information, and all the knowledge you need to be the smartest one in the room. Unless you are in the same room as Henry, of course. Oh, shut up. This is Talk of the Town on 103.7 WTIB and 94.1 WNBU. All right, big hour here on the show. Welcome back to the second hour. Talk of the Town here on Wednesday morning, February the 11th. First thing I have to do is say happy birthday to my sister, Cindy, who's having a birthday today. I think she's 29. Speaking of. Again. It's my dad's birthday as well. Oh, that's right. Every year at this time. Every year. Same time every happy year. Happy birthday to uh, P- Papa McGee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. I won't give his age, but happy birthday. To we him. have a uh, we have an unusual uh, studio setup here, which I'll explain in a moment. But uh, uh, I want to mention that we are now less than an hour away from opening up the phone lines, our main switchboards here at the station, to uh, sell the half price coupons for Cutter Creek Golf. And if you've never played Cutter Creek, I'm telling you, this is the deal. It's uh, one of the most beautiful golf courses in North Carolina, and, um, you know, this is it's a rare opportunity. Normally, when you play Cutter Creek, it's $50, and that includes your cart fee. We're selling them for $25 each this morning while supplies last, and they're not going to last long. I can tell you that you need to call at 9 o'clock. I'm going to give you a couple of telephone numbers, uh, and, again, uh, this is a great uh, – we're doing it We're doing it earlier this year uh, – because we want to uh, give people an opportunity to use these for Valentine's gifts this weekend for your hubby, or if you just want to buy some for you and your your uh, your boys to go play around a golf at Cutter Creek, twenty five dollars a round starting this morning at nine o'clock. Now, the only way to get them is to call our main switchboard. We will have extra operators standing by this morning at nine o'clock, and the numbers to call are three five five eight eight. Two, two. Now, when you call, you may get a busy signal, and I'm just going to encourage you to call back until you can get through because uh, these will not last long. We only have 100 to sell at half price. And uh, so if you uh, keep going, and by the way, we are allowing, I was told this morning, we are allowing people to buy up to eight passes at a time. So they're going to go fast. And uh, so you can call this morning at uh, 355-8822 or 355-1037 and, uh, and talk to some of our uh, switchboard operators this morning about those. Hats. Now, you will have to have a credit card or a debit card to purchase these this morning. And, um, and I believe they are good through the end of the year. So great opportunity to get some half-price golf in the Talk of the Town Golf Club. Now, We've been talking uh, all foot basketball season about Coach Carr's incredible basketball team. We, you know, we have an uh, undefeated high school basketball team here in Pitt County, the North Pitt Lady Panthers. Do we call them the Lady Panthers? Yes. Because I know years ago we used to say Lady Pirates, and now they're like, no, they're just the Pirates. And when I was at North Pitt, it was called the Panthers. The Panthers? Yes. Now that's really? sexist. Yeah, that's sexist. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Pant hers. Yeah, that was decades. I don't know that. I don't go for that. I don't like that. No, but we uh, we've been. Uh, Coach Carr is uh, twenty two and zero, nine and zero, or ten and zero in the conference. Uh, nine and zero. Nine and zero in yes. the conference. Yes. This team is on a roll. We're getting toward the end of the season, and we're all we all have high hopes for this team and our own Coach Carr, who uh, uh, is our radio producer here uh, on the show. Uh, moonlights here, but his real job is uh, being the head coach of the Lady Pant Hers. And so, <laughs> and so Coach, good morning. We, uh, good coach, morning. For, for once, Coach is on the other side of the glass. I, I'm not he was like, this. I just want the players up yeah. there. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want to be. I'm like, no, yeah. you're going to be on. I'm not liking this at all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd rather be back there beside Michael. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got a couple of your players here. Introduce your players to us. Uh, we'll have them introduce themselves. Okay. Okay. Coach just took over my show, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's start right here. Tell us your name and what grade you're in. I am Tashetta Joseph, and I'm a sophomore. All right, and how about you? Um, I'm Sarah Cersei, and I'm a junior. All right, so you guys are uh, two of the members of the team. You guys are 22-0. and 0. When the season started, Tashetta, did you have any idea that it was going to be this kind of year? Yes. This, you, you did? Yeah, this is all we wanted, and we've been wanting this since last year when I was a freshman. The girls... You know, we've been playing since middle school. So, I mean, winning is 
all we want. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And uh, Sarah, how about you? Did uh, did you know this was going to – you guys were good last year, but this year things have kind of gone crazy, and you guys have been beating everybody by 50. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> so this has been – this is quite a uh, an extraordinary uh, girls basketball team that we're watching here in Pitt County. Did you know it was going to be that kind of year? I definitely knew that we had the ability to do it as of thinking about last year and even the year before. Um, knowing that all this talent that we had and the hard work, I didn't know it was going to be this great this year, at least, having no seniors and knowing that we can do come back and do the same thing next year. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome. What's it been like uh, at school and with your friends? Is everybody uh, stoked about what's happening with the girls' team? Yes, the fans are, like, amazing. It's, it feels good, like, to go to the game and see that you got kids – from your school, all of them there, and your parents, and everybody's in the fan base and going wild. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. It feels good. All right, and now, uh, now, uh, you know, I, I, you, you know the rule. You play them one at a time, but everybody's talking. I'm guilty also. Everybody's talking about how far this team can go. Sarah, are you guys focused on anything beyond the next game? Are you thinking about how far the team can go, or what? Well, the whole year we've had these four goals, and the first was the Christmas tournament, so that's the goal we focused on until we won it. And now it's the conference championship, and our last conference game is Friday. Well, I mean, so you've already won the conference championship, haven't you? Well, we still no? got to win the tournament. Okay, so you so got to win the tournament, what right? We okay. On now and then. And then what? The regionals. Yes. And then after that, the states. All right, so you are focused on winning the state championship. Yes. Yeah. All right, so now let's get to the real meat of this interview. By the way, you guys can ask questions over there if you want. Oh, no, we're uh, just enjoying is, it over uh, here. Coach Carr uh, is a very humble guy, and uh, but I just like to know, uh, you know, how 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 does it how was it to play for Coach Carr? Hmm. I'm guessing that he brought <laughs> I'm guessing that he brought the two players in here this morning that would say positive things. It, Not necessarily. <laughs> It is tough working with him. He is. <laughs> I, I totally agree with that, by the way. He is very, like. Demanding? Yes. When he says something, it goes. What he say, that's how it goes. I mean, yeah. there's no other way yeah. to put it. Yeah. So he's he rules with an iron fist, Sarah. Is that true? Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah, it's probably more of a day by day thing of how his mood is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you come into practice. And if you know what kind of day it is, you know to listen yeah. and don't talk during practice. And Does he ever talk about his days playing for North Pitt High School? All, you know, all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he uh, he considers himself to have been a superstar. Yes, yes. he even showed us pictures. He had an afro. And <laughs> him at the free throw line. Afro. <laughs> Coach, I think you should grow the afro again. I, I was, I was going to say, maybe Coach Carr should go without – Cutting his hair until, after until the they state well or or until they lose. If that's the case, you may have an afro by next year. Let's leave it up to uh, to my two players here. Yeah. What do you guys? Uh, let's make a deal with Coach. I mean, yeah. if I would love to see that. Would, would you Would you agree that he should grow an afro if you guys keep winning? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so be it. Yeah, you still got some bell bottoms. So, so, so coach, that means that means if you go undefeated and you go and win a state championship, then you have to go through the summer and until next basketball season without cutting your hair. Well, yeah, that, that's the deal, right? Right, ladies. Yeah. If you guys go undefeated, he can't he can't cut his hair until yeah. you guys lose a basketball game. You know what? They work so hard in practice and in a game that whatever they want. Then yes, I agree to. Okay, it. all right. There you, go. There you, you know, go. Coach will be walking in here in July looking like Artist <laughs> Gilmore. <laughs> I got you one say for you, yeah. hey, Are you worried about? Because you guys have been blowing teams out every single game. I think you won seventy to forty three last night, so no one's been close. Are you concerned about what if you do get behind in the playoffs? not having had to have fought back from being down mm. at all in the regular Good season question. or likely the conference tournament. Are you concerned about how you might respond if you get down in the game? Well, I think um, it's kind of like earlier this year before the conference started, we played North Lenore and we had blown them out the first game. And the next game we ended up going to overtime. And once we realized at that point right before starting the overtime time, we knew we had to come out like hungry for the ball and um, being really aggressive. And we ended up winning overtime by five points which was more than what we had maybe expected, maybe winning by one or two. Yeah. And we really came back in those 
last few minutes. So. Yeah, that's the that's the other thing. How do you, how does coach keep you guys from getting cocky and overconfident with all these uh, great wins you've had? Like the feeling last year of us losing, just he constantly remind us like you don't want to go back to that feeling of all y'all crying and we don't. So staying humble and calm and not overwhelming ourselves and getting too cocky about it. I mean, we just go with the flow. All right. Coach, these these are very impressive young ladies right here. And their school, their GPA is outstanding. Yeah. yeah. So he he talk he talks about that all the time too, by the way. I mean he he's preaching academics along with winning in athletics, right? Yeah, he's mm, in practice when he knows the report cards and progress report cards are coming out, he is there asking for those. Like, yeah. soon you walk through the door, where are they? We got them. Yeah. They're coming. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, Henry, you know, like when you go to the dentist before school, you get a note, or you go to the doctor, you get a note. Now you're going to have to have a radio note from Henry Hinton saying that you guys are late for school <laughs> That's right. because you've been on the radio. That's right. Are you skipping class right now, by the way? Are you skipping a class right now? Yes. You are? <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to deal with this? Because, you know, you can't say you were at the doctor because you're clearly you're on TV and radio right now. Right. Um, yeah. Well, my first period teacher is the JV boys basketball coach. There you go. So I think he will understand. That's good scheduling right there, Sarah. <laughs> what did you have first period? I have media web page. Media web page? Mm -hmm. Future well, here, employee there, trip. Henry. <laughs> this was a field trip. <laughs> You know, she that, came out to the media. And that's conglomerate. exactly what our principal, uh, Dr. Cato, said last night. He yeah. said this will be a, uh, considered as a field trip. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you guys consider this a field trip? Yes. Yeah. Well, then get up there and run that camera. <laughs> 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 who's supposed to be? Who, who's going to do Coach Carr's job now that he's on this side of the glass? My so. assistant coach is standing right there. <laughs> <laughs> She'll do it. <laughs> All right. Well, look, we're so proud of you guys. Now, who? Now, where are you Friday night? Where are you guys playing Friday night? Farmville. You're at Farmville Central Friday night, okay. And do you have any more home games? I, because I've been wanting to come to a game, but it's, and, I, and I literally was all set to go to a game last Friday night, but I had my grandson with me, and he had another thing he had to go to, so I couldn't, uh, we couldn't do it. But I'm, I'm coming, I'm making a public commitment that I'm coming to a game. So tell me which one's the best. Well, according to the North Carolina High School Athletic Association, when you win 22 games in basketball, you automatically uh, clinch first seed. With that being said... So you, so the, so the regional should, should start at your home? Not the regionals. Uh, the playoff. The, the district. Playoff, yes. Yeah. Uh, Where just, will the conference tournament be? Uh, well, it's kind of um, difficult to explain, but this year we're following the boys. So Farmers Central is, I think, they are, they're in first place. Yeah, so if the they finish Friday first, night's game in the boys' side is for the conference championship between North Pitt and Farmville Central. And that's why it's important that North Pitt boys will win because yeah. we will follow their seed. If yeah. they if they win in first place, we'll right. be at home. By the way, Coach Carr, the only you know the only thing better than winning a state championship was when y'all beat Rose High. Oh yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, he did a little Barry White over there for y'all. Yeah. Do y'all care about beating Rose High as much as Coach does? No, who me? Y'all just won't beat everybody. Who's your? Who do you consider to be your rival? D. H. Conley. That's a good question. They was, but and my sister played for D. H. Conley, and they used to beat us like bad last year. Now that we actually beat them this year by so much, it, I brag with it all the time. <laughs> I just <laughs> you're sticking it to her now, right? Well, listen, guys, congratulations, and we're going to follow you guys as long as you go. We have our fingers crossed because this has been a special year for you, and uh, we love your coach. He is a special guy to us. Thanks. So uh, thank you guys for uh, for skipping class this morning. You should be thanking me, by the way, because you got thank skipped. You. you got to skip <laughs> class. Uh, Sarah Cer uh, Cersei, yes, sir. I get it right, and Tashada Tish Joseph, yes. I got them both right, and Neil Carr. Yes, and thanks yeah. a lot here. Good to see I, you guys. I want to thank Billy Weaver and WITN Sports also. Billy's, yeah, we, Billy's we, giving you good coverage this year. We had Trent two McGee. player of the week uh, yes. yeah. players from, from North Pitt with Dorian Sharp and uh, – The ninth grader. Um, yeah. Um, nice Nigel nice, nice nice Langley. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, my brain doesn't start until 2 p.m. <laughs> I've been telling you that for we've, years. We've noticed that. Okay. <laughs> good to see you guys and keep on winning. Thanks. All right, 19 after 8 o'clock. Let's get a break in. We're coming back. Billy will have news headlines still to come this hour. Your chance to win in the Home Fest contest, including uh, winning a couple of tickets, uh, free tickets to Home Fest at the Convention Center and 
than qualifying to win that brand new kitchen makeover in your home worth $20,000. And we are now 40 minutes away from opening the phone lines for the Cutter Creek Golf Sale. So don't forget that. Again, uh, write these numbers down because uh, they're going to go fast. 355-8822 and 355-1037. All right, 20 after 8 now. We'll be right back. Great, guys. deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stalling Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on B. Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. I'm Henry Hinton. You've heard me talk over the years about how much I love being a patient of Dr. Thomas McIntosh. I love Carolina Vision Care because I can get my glasses in their optical department right on site. They've got one of the largest selections of frames anywhere and an in-house optical lab run by opticians that can make glasses many times in about an hour. And they accept most vision plans and insurances. And for people without vision insurance, they have their own vision plan that will save you money. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. My prescription refills. My son shot records. My doctor's appointments. My lab results. My parents' care. My chart. Vident My Chart. Vident My Chart is the secure online patient portal that lets you manage your health your way. Visit VidantMyChart.com or call 1 855 MyVident to learn how you can sign up. And now, homemade made easy with Ann. Spend more time with the family, not in the kitchen, with this quick recipe. Boil water. Add Ann's chicken base and butter. Add Ann's flat pastry dumplings. Add pre-cooked chicken. Add flour to thicken. Season with salt and pepper. Done. Homemade, made easy. Look for this label at your local grocer or annsdumplings.com for more ideas. Greenville Toyota announces monumental markdowns and monumental savings with the Greenville Toyota Advantage. Oil changes, tire rotations, seasonal inspections, and courtesy shuttle service for life. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us just 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. What's that count me in over there? Was that Tashata? Coach Carr now has his tune. Coach Carr now has his players in the control room running the show. So, <sighs> welcome you, back. Can you name that band? That I wasn't. I wasn't even. I didn't even didn't have my listen? earpiece in. I wasn't listening. I was Trent? running around getting I, coffee. I can't. I heard the song. I, I can't. I can't even Who it. was it? The Smithereens. Michael, is that right? There you go. I don't have any idea. I'm an who '80s that is. guy, man. That's that your child of the favorite, '80s, without one of a doubt. My favorite bands. 24 after uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, busy show this morning. And uh, still to come this hour, your chance to win a couple of tickets in Home Fest 15, our sweepstakes. Uh, we're giving away an entire kitchen remodeling um, project for your very own home. We're going to be giving away on March 7th at the Convention Center. And um, also we're giving away that man cave, including the Coors Light Refresherator, which I want one for my Sweet. very own self. Mm -hmm. So uh, stand by. Your chance to win coming up between now and 9 o'clock on that. And then at 9 o'clock this morning, we're opening up the uh, phone lines for the Cutter Creek Golf Sale for Valentine's Day. And uh, let's see. I need to mention also that Friday morning, 
We have a very special show. We're going to be on location, and it's going to be a free community breakfast. And we're doing it at 400 St. Andrews this week. Going to be live on location at 400 St. Andrews. People still know that around town is the old Beef Barn building off Greenville Boulevard on St. Andrews Drive. And, of course, the Rep Express guys, Rochelle and Brian Brown, have now taken that over. And, McGee, they've got, they're going to have the breakfast bar, the coffee bar. They're going to have free community breakfast for everybody. Everything's free. And as I understand it, there will even be, in honor of Valentine's Day, red mimosas. Mm-hmm. A lot of nice little Valentine's treats wow. for you and there your you go. sweetheart. Great start to the so weekend. So plan your Friday morning with us, uh, 7 to 9, live at 400 St. Andrews. We want to see a big crowd of folks out there. Coming up on uh, Friday morning. All right, 25 after 8 o'clock. Let's go to the news desk now. Billy Weaver with the very latest from uh, WITN. Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Henry. Currently 826, 34 degrees in Greenville. I am Billy Weaver, and this is a look at your WITN news headlines. An early morning stabbing sent one man to the hospital, his girlfriend to jail. Kinston police say 27-year-old Giovanna Washington is being booked into jail, charged with stabbing her 28-year-old boyfriend, Terrell Floyd. That happened around 1.20 this morning at the Simon Bright Apartments in Kinston, directly across the street from the police station. Sergeant Rouse says Floyd is expected to be okay. The stab wound was on his upper left arm. The Simon Bright apartment complex is where a person was shot back on January 20th. No arrests have been made in that case. And Henry is okay. You all right over there, <laughs> Henry? <laughs> all right. We'll be following up with firefighters today to learn what started a house fire overnight. This, these are not funny stories, but folks, Henry Hinton just fell out of his chair. Pitt County dispatchers tell us the fire started at 1586 Old London Road, just off Stantonsburg Road. Emergency Management Director Noel Lee says the fire started after 9 p.m. last night, and everyone inside was able to get out safely. No word yet on what exactly caused the fire. Two local deputies are on leave after... They shot a man who'd been chased by police from a few towns away. Pitt County deputies Mindy Fedash and Jerry Allen are on leave. That's protocol after shooting at 25-year-old Tyshawn Fields in Greenville early yesterday morning. (laughs) All right, this is serious stuff over here, guys. Fields was shot in the leg and is expected to be okay. Aiden Police Chief Barry Stanley says... Fields fled from his officers during a traffic stop in Aden, and after he was shot in Greenville, authorities recovered marijuana, drug paraphernalia, and a gun. Chief Stanley says they think Fields may be involved in attempted drive-by shooting last summer. We'll, of course, keep you updated on this case. And Powerball fever is growing again. One of the top jackpots ever is up for grabs. The jackpot for tonight is an estimated $485 million. That's the third highest ever. The jackpot had been rolled over since late November. You, of course, can watch the drawing tonight on WITN just before the 11 p.m. news. It is currently 8, 28, 34 degrees in Greenville. I'm Billy Weaver, and that's a look at your WITN news headlines. Let's go back over to Henry Hinton. Are you okay? <laughs> now, I want you to explain what happened a, during uh, my I news cr- segment so that if Chris anybody Chris- thought I was laughing during the news <laughs> and exactly why. Well, I mean, if you were a professional, you would have just ignored what happened and kept on going. I tell you what, it was amazing <laughs> that I didn't bust out laughing because that— I actually was reaching <laughs> over to get some tissue— to <laughs> blow my nose, and the chair turned over. It was a great thing. Which made it even, even more It was more a Chris funny. Christie moment. By the way, you shouldn't be laughing at an old man that falls on the floor, by the way. I'm just... <laughs> Could have broken my leg or something. It was like slow motion. I just saw it all happening. And had- I didn't think it was funny until I saw McGee. McGee was about, you know, dying laughing. But I actually did turn my chair over and fall on the floor. You know, hey, I do what I can to make your day happy and bright, Mr. Weaver. Oh, jeez. No, you just get um, me. Don't in, worry about me. I'm fine. You just get me in trouble for laughing during very serious <laughs> news segments. Oh, man. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I had Whew. to do it with all the ba- the girls' basketball players in here. Did you guys see that? You didn't see it, did you? Did it, they did see it? Tashada's laughing. She. Th- Saw it. You did. <laughs> she <laughs> said, I saw it. <laughs> saw it. All right. I just wish we had video. Good I'm Lord. glad. I'm glad we you, don't because that would be a YouTube. Oh, moment it would go would, viral. Yes, it, it would. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go to McGee. Here's the story, Billy. That you may have tonight. I don't mean to cut into the weather, but they've officially now just released this. They have stripped the Little League Baseball U.S. 
championship team, they've stripped them of the title. Oh, what? Wow. They have officially stripped them. The What'd team, they do? the Jackie Robinson West team from yep, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they, uh, they violated a rule prohibiting the use of players who live outside the geographic area. No kidding. The team. So they recruited players from other neighborhood yep. districts to come in and play. They suspended the coach and everything. So it's pretty. Uh, Scott Shook just texted me and said, I, I think we, Greenville just had an earthquake. <laughs> Oh, man. It was about a 4.5, uh. wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so the earth didn't move? Yeah. I know my so desk over here. Something moved. 830, let's check, uh, wow. let's, let's check our weather. Here's McGee with that. By uh, the way, nobody likes you, McGee. Yeah, I know they don't. Mostly sunny skies <laughs> for today with highs reaching into the upper 40s for tonight. Lows dipping down to around 33. Sh uh, chance of showers late tomorrow, a 20% chance with a high of 58 degrees. Otherwise, partly sunny skies throughout the day with lows dipping down to 23 tomorrow night. For Friday, plenty of sunshine but cold with a high of just 38 degrees and lows in the mid-20s. All right, news and weather this hour, a service of the Tire Realty Group here in Greenville. If you are uh, looking to sell your home, remember the National Association of Realtors reports that the average agent spends less than $300 per month on marketing. That's less than most car payments. That's less than a mortgage payment. And Homer Tire's team at the Tire Realty Group spends thousands of dollars marketing every month to create demand and sell homes fast and for top dollar. Just ask some of the folks that they've worked with. Ask Greg, who uh, heard about Tire Realty after his home sat in, a, uh, in the Ironwood subdivision unsold for six months when he was using another agent. And he heard about the Tire Realty Group, picked up the phone and called, and Homer's team sat down with him and showed Greg the marketing plan, put the house back on the market, and sold it in six days. Which would you prefer, six months or six days? Then call the Homer Tire Real Estate Team, the Tire Realty Group. They're the official real estate team of the East Carolina Pirates. And remember, working with Tire Realty doesn't obligate you to anything. If they're not doing their job, they'll let you out of the contract free and clear. Call the only agent I would call if I was going to sell my home. I would pick up the phone and call the Tire Realty Group. As long as he could get out of his chair. As long as 758. <laughs> I don't have to get out of my chair to dial. 758-H-O-M-E, 758-4663, or guaranteedsellnc.com. Trent, why Billy, didn't you take are you done now? Why didn't you take a picture the funny of him on the floor? If you had taken a picture of me, I would fire you. I would never, you'd never be on this floor again. It would so be worth it. <laughs> he had the tissue like in his hand, the toilet paper roll in his hand. It's like he's falling down with the toilet paper. <laughs> Nobody likes either one of you guys. I'm glad I, I'm glad I can entertain you this morning. Uh, just just be thankful the young ladies from the sorority at ECU are well. They're in the lobby, but, but they didn't they didn't get to see what we saw. <laughs> Billy, thank you very much. You're quite a friend, and thank you, McGee, for your oh. concern about. I consider myself a frenemy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so do I. All right, let's uh, let's take a break, and uh, we will. We will be back with more Talk of the Town. Remember, still to come, your chance to win and qualify in the Home Fest contest. You could win a kitchen remodeling project worth twenty grand. And we're now 27 minutes away from our golf, the first golf sale of the year, half price at Cutter Creek coming up in 27 minutes. Get ready to dial, but don't call before 9. Operators are going to be ready at 9 o'clock this morning. We'll be right back. Baseball fans, your Pirates begin a new era in ECU baseball as a member of the American and under the direction of new head coach Cliff Godwin. The Pirates open the season with the College World Series runner-up Virginia. First pitch on Friday is at 3 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., and Sunday at noon. Order your tickets online at ecupirates.com or by calling 800-DIAL-ECU. Be undaunted in your support of Pirate Baseball versus Virginia this weekend. Hey, I'm Chip Davis. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come on in. We've got 0% financing for 72 months and savings up to $11,000. Try out a Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200, Jeep Wrangler, or a new Ram truck. We have the largest selection of inventory to choose from in Eastern North Carolina, and we have a vehicle for you. Save thousands at the President's Day event and Ram Truck Month in February. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. Hey everybody, guess who's never danced with a girl before? Yeah, this guy. Come on buddy, on the 2-4, 2-4, there you go. 
At Shaw Floors, we know the little moments matter. They're why we work so hard to put a carpet beneath his feet that's as awesome as he is. Boyd's Carpet, 115 West Fire Towel Road in Winterville. Call them at 321-7066. ECU Women's Basketball is in action Sunday, February 15th, when the Pirates take on the USF Bulls at 2 p.m. in Minji's. Paint Minji's pink as ECU hosts their Play for K game. Fans wearing pink to the game in support of breast cancer awareness will receive $2 tickets. Order your tickets online at ecupirates.com or by calling 800-DIAL-ECU. East Carolina versus USF this Sunday at 2 p.m. Be undaunted in your support of Pirate Women's Basketball. On the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Okay, welcome back. 23 now in front of 9 o'clock. You're on Talk of the Town, 103.7 and 94.1. And uh, Home Fest uh, contest coming up in about uh, seven minutes. So stand by to dial, and you may qualify to win that brand new kitchen rem remodeling makeover project for your home worth 20 grand. I'm going to qualify two more people coming up here in the next 10 minutes. Right now, though, Christina Krzminski is in the studio. Did I get it right? Mm -hmm, you Are did. you impressed? I am. You are impressed? Good. Christina is with the Alpha Phi Sorority in Greenville. Thank goodness we got all the old men out of here. Well, oh, McGee's still in there. You already heard it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good to see you. It's been quite a morning. You, may, If you had been in here uh, five minutes ago, you'd have seen me fall out of my chair. I heard about that, too. Yeah, exactly. No one has asked me yet, by the way, are you okay? Not one person. They've all laughed at me, but no one cares about my well-being. Are you Cri okay? Christina, thank you, Christina. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, so you're here because Alpha Phi is doing something special this week. Uh, cardiac Care Week, right? Yeah. Tell me about week, it. What are you guys doing? All week we've had events starting last Friday, so I guess it's a little more than a week. Um, I'm not sure if you heard. We had a National Wear Red Day. So last Friday we had people across the country wearing red. I had uh, Blake wearing red, of course. My mom was wearing red. We were so all wearing you, red. He, is your boyfriend's name Blake? See, I've been calling him Tim. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll, get, Blake. we'll get to him in a minute. Go ahead. Tell us about the event. Um, he's, and, he's getting nervous now, which he should, by the way. It's all right, Blake. Yeah. Monday night, we had a uh, pancake dinner out at Mendenhall Student Center. Oh, sweet. We had tons of people come out. Um, today, we have our jail and bail, which is something we started last year. Jail and bail. Jail and bail. So you arrest people, and they have to get bailed out, and yeah. the money goes to what? Yeah. Um, cardiac care research. Okay, Specifically, good. women's heart health. Um Alpha Phi has our own foundation, actually, and we're one of the first and only sororities to have our foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, it's something really important to us, and that's why we wanted to do a whole week of events. Last year, we just did the Jail and Bill, and that was a huge success. So mm -hmm. we wanted to do a lot of different things this year, not only to raise awareness, but to get everyone involved and, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, so why did you guys choose, choose cardiac to focus on? Any particular reason? Heart health involves everyone. If you aren't affected by heart disease, you know someone that is. Mm -hmm. um, one in three people will die every year of cardiac disease. Mm -hmm. yep. And, you know, it kills one in three women. Thank so. you for reminding me that, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, it's sorry. sad to think about. It is very. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but yeah, it's a big problem. So uh, what events do you have left this week that are open to the public that people can come out and help you if they want to? We have our 5K on Sunday down at the Greenville Town Commons. Mm -hmm. And um, we really need people to sign up, get everyone out there, get your heart rate up, you know. 
What time is that on Sunday? It's at one o'clock. You guys, you know, you guys picked the coldest day of the year for your fight. We were you, hoping it was. You didn't be warm. know at that time, did you? No, we were. But I mean, that's even more reason warm. to get out there and prove you can do it. Exactly, yeah. and there's a fun run, so yeah, it's right. half the distance. You don't have to what stay time out there. are you starting at? One o'clock. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's that's not a good thing. eight a.m. Yeah. or anything. Yeah. So, how do people sign up for that? Um, you? you can go to runtheeast.com, and they have a sidebar, and it has all of their different events, and it'll say "Move Your Feet," but it's not. F E E T. It's P H I apostrophe T, like oh, Alpha Phi. Very feet. nice. Clever, very nice. right? Very clever. I like that. All right, so uh, uh, we appreciate all that you uh, you guys are doing in your sorority to so, to promote cardiac care. Great idea. Now, uh, I need to talk to you about your boyfriend. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Blake. See, I, he's we we communicate on Facebook. Mm -hmm. He set this interview up. And we met at a basketball game recently, and yep. uh, you know, so his name is Tim Timothy Blake Belch. Mm -hmm. So I assume that his name was so Blake. I'm sorry, I've been calling you Tim on the on the emails, but he approached me at the basketball game about two weeks ago and said he was from Chowan County, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm very proud of him because he's getting it done at ECU when he was able to get you to date him. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to say about that because, uh, you know, because you're from New Jersey, I understand. Correct. How did you end up with a Chowan County redneck? Well, he's not like, a redneck. Oh, yeah, he is. He, he's, he's from Chowan County. He's like me. He's a Chowan County redneck. How, how did this relationship develop? We want, we want every detail. What, every detail? No, not every detail. Okay. Um, I don't know. We just started hanging out. He was nice to me, unlike yeah. a lot of people from New Jersey. Yeah. So have you been have you been up to Chowan County yet? Oh yeah, you I was have? there last weekend. Hang out on the river. Yeah. Isn't it nice? Yeah. It's 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 the best kept secret in North Carolina, isn't it? That's what Blake says. <laughs> that's what I say too, Blake. <laughs> yeah, Blake's a good guy, and uh, well, that's good. How long have you guys been dating? Mm, about a year and a half now. Year and a half, Blake. You're getting it done. <laughs> My man Blake is getting it done. All right. Well, good. So uh, so what year are you now? I'm a sophomore. A sophomore. Wow. You uh, you guys started dating early in your career. What year are you, Blake? I'm a senior. He's a senior. Mm -hmm. What are you doing next year? I'm um, doing an internship for the last part of the criminal justice program. Oh, he's in the criminal justice program. He's, he's going to be doing an internship. Jazz. All right, good. I should have had him up here with us. <laughs> all right, well, look, thank you both for coming in. It's great to see you. Thanks for all you're doing. Blake, thanks for letting us know about this. And good luck with all of your thank stuff you. this week at Alpha Phi with the Cardiac Care Week. Thank you very much. All right, good to see you. All right, uh, we're going to go to break, but as we do, we're going to open up the phone lines and let you call in. We're going to take caller six and seven right now at 3558. Whoops, I'm giving the switchboard number. 561 8255. 561 T A L K. Call right now. Caller six and seven, get free tickets to Home Fest, and we will qualify you to win the $20,000 kitchen makeover right now. Give us a call. Lines are open at 561 8255. Caller six and caller seven. You got free tickets to Home Fest, and you'll be in the drawing for the kitchen makeover. We'll be right back. Greenville Toyota announces monumental markdowns and monumental savings with the Greenville Toyota Advantage. Oil changes, tire rotations, seasonal inspections, and courtesy shuttle service for life. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us just 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. What if you could make this or this with less of this and definitely less of this and without this? Let Ann show you how with this. A great taste without the guesswork. Add Ann's chicken, vegetable, ham, or beef base to a variety of dishes. Deviled eggs, potato salad, and even coleslaw are taken to a whole new level by using Ann's The One dressing. Or easily liven up your favorite meat or seafood with Ann's The One sauce. Homemade, made easy. Look for this label at your local grocer or annsdumplings.com for more ideas. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Look at you two, taking a flying leap off the high dive of life and starting your own home business and nailing it. The term busy is just taking on a whole new meaning. At Shaw Floors, we love busy. It's why we work so hard to put a resilient floor beneath your feet that's as awesome as you are. Boyd's Carpet, 
115 West Fire Towel Road in Winterville. Call them at 321-7066. Uptown Greenville is the voice of the downtown. We exist to promote quality, cultural, residential, and economic development. I am Uptown. I am Uptown. I am Uptown. It's alive. Safe. It's awesome. A great place to work. We are Uptown. We are Uptown. We are Uptown. Student at East Carolina University, co-founder of eAudit.com. Sergeant with the Center City Unit. Owner of the Varsity Club. Our downtown has a name, and it's Uptown. I'm good like that. <laughs> Greenville Toyota announces monumental markdowns. Get new Camrys and RAV4s, both discounted up to five grand, or new Corollas up to three grand off, all with 0% financing and sign and drive payments. At Greenville Toyota, if you give us just 15 minutes, we can lower your payment. All right, got a busy show this morning. And uh, now we're going to give some stuff away. The um, Home Fest 15 is coming. It's coming to the uh, convention center, and it is coming on March the 7th. It's uh, Greenville's home show, home and garden show, and it's the largest home and garden show, one-day event, largest one east of Raleigh, and it's, uh, it's a terrific show. Thousands of people going to be there on March the 7th. And um, we are giving away not only a kitchen this year for the third year in a row, a kitchen remodeling, but since we've got 94.3 The Game, our sports station, now we're giving away a man cave this year as well. And um, we're going to qualify a couple of folks right now to win those and give them free tickets to the show. Eddie Manning was caller number six. And, Eddie, you've got a free ticket to the show, and now you're qualified for the kitchen. And on the telephone right now, we have uh, caller number seven. Good morning. Who is this? Tony Joyner. Good morning, Tony. Where are you calling from? Greenville. All right, Tony. Are, are you available? I'm sorry? Or is that Greenville? Greenville, yes. Now, are you available on March the 7th? I am. All right. Well, we want you to be in the convention center because your name is going to be in the drawing for a $20,000 kitchen remodeling project. And uh, here's what it consists of. Mid-continent cabinets. Going to tear out your cabinets and put in all new cabinets. Uh, and the guys at Garris Evans are going to do that. Uh, Bostic Sug. Uh, Britt Laughing House and the guys over at Bostic Sug are going to give you a brand new dinette set for your kitchen. And also um, uh, Jason Boyd and the folks at Boyd's Carpet and Flooring putting in all new flooring in your kitchen. You're going to get new countertops courtesy of Aspen Tops East. And you're going to get uh, uh, all new appliances in there, courtesy of Ferguson Enterprises, Charles Tudor and the guys at Ferguson, third year in a row, that they've provided all new appliances for your kitchen. How about that? It's worth over $20,000. And by the way, while the work is going on, uh, Eddie Stallings from Stallings Storage is going to put a storage unit outside your home to uh, store all of your stuff in. And uh, Bob over at Pack R is going to give you a, a, a trash uh container as well. So we got all the uh, angles covered and you are in the drawing and you could win that kitchen. How about that? Where can I go wrong? Exactly. Do you need a new kitchen? I sure do. All right. Very Seven, good. 17, 17 years old needs an update. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck to you. Tony Joyner. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. All right. Uh, he's in the drawing along with Eddie this morning and uh, Michael will give you all the details on how to Get your uh, get your free ticket to the show coming up on March the seventh. Sales staff, by the way, still working on uh, selling the uh, booths for Home Fest. And if you are interested in being a part of Home Fest this year, uh, we still have some uh, available booth space in the show. So you should call our main switchboard here at three five five eight eight two two. Ask to speak to uh, one of our salespeople, Hank Hinton, Jennifer Little, Joey Quayar. They can take care of you. 
and um, you know you'll your business will be there in front of uh, thousands of people on March the seventh. All right, it's uh, coming up on ten minutes in front of uh, nine o'clock. We're ten minutes away, McGee. Ten from minutes starting the golf season. It's our first talk of the town. Half price golf sale, Cutter Creek in ten minutes. The telephone numbers again: three five five eight eight two two five three five five one zero three seven. Uh, we're selling uh, Cutter Creek golf passes for twenty five dollars. That includes your cart fee. That's a heck of a price for Cutter Creek. So stand by, and in ten minutes the phone lines will be open. And um, and I'm telling you, if you get a busy signal, dot keep dialing because they're going to go fast. Cutter Creek always sells out, mm, usually within twenty minutes. Mm -hmm. So uh, stand by. The the uh, so the switchboard operators will be going as fast as they can, taking the orders this morning. So we'll move as fast as we can, and hopefully you'll get in on that this morning. All right, let's uh, let's check other things going on now. Here is McGee on sports. All right, BJ Tyson, freshman BJ Tyson, playing uh, unlike a freshman. He scored twenty of his game high twenty four points in the second half to help East Carolina rally to beat Memphis sixty four fifty three Tuesday night inside Menji's Coliseum. Third straight home win for the Pirates, and only the second win ever over the Memphis Tigers. Caleb White added 11 for ECU, who improves to 11-13 and 13 overall, 4-7 and seven in league play. ECU's women also victorious on Tuesday night, knocking down Cincinnati 78-53 behind a season-high 23 points from redshirt senior Bria Trice. Third straight win for the Pirates, who improved to 16-8 and eight on the season. Other men's college basketball scores from Tuesday night. Number one, Kentucky. Uh, moved to 24 and 0 with a narrow 71-69 win over LSU. The uh, Cats were down in that game by eight to ten points there, but rallied uh, to knock off LSU for win number 24 on the season. Coming up tonight, big game inside PNC Arena as NC State, who desperately needs a win to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive, they will host number two Virginia at eight o'clock. East Carolina has added a home game against Western Carolina to complete its 2016 non-conference football schedule. The Pirates and Catamounts are slated to play on September the third at Dowdy. Ficklin Stadium. ECU's 2016 non-conference slate now includes two in-state foes with Western Carolina and NC State along with SEC member South Carolina and ACC member Virginia Tech. High school basketball action from Tuesday night. North Pitt won their 22nd consecutive game, beating Washington 73-40. to North Pitt's Dorian Sharp reached the 1,000 point mark in that win. And also D.H. Conley's Madison Maloney also at the 1,000 career point mark Tuesday night and the Vikings win over New Bern, and you heard us mention this earlier, the uh, Jackie Robinson West team, who was the uh, U.S. Little League Championships, they've been stripped of that championship uh, honor there by the Little League Association for actually recruiting players to play for them that did not live in their Wow, districts. how about that? And, yep. That's something, isn't it? So, at all levels, man. Yeah. Been in the rules at all levels. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Deflated footballs, recruiting players to play, it's, it's just, yeah, it's rampant. I hate to hear that with the Little League. Though. Yeah, they, were, yeah. they were breaking the rules for to win the Little League World Series. Not good. All right, eight minutes in front of nine o'clock. Let's get our last break in, and we are now coming up actually seven minutes away from nine o'clock, and the uh, and the half price golf sale for Cutter Creek in seven minutes. Stand by to dial this morning. Seven minutes away. We'll be right back. Baseball fan. And your Pirates begin a new era in ECU baseball as a member of the American and under the direction of new head coach Cliff Godwin. The Pirates open the season with the College World Series runner-up Virginia. First pitch on Friday is at 3 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., and Sunday at noon. Order your tickets online at ecupirates.com or by calling 800-DIAL-ECU. Be undaunted in your support of Pirate Baseball versus Virginia this weekend. You know, they didn't see a lot of because the door was always closed. And now it's their empty nest, waiting for new memories. It's the starting over that we love at Shaw Floors. And why we work so hard to put a floor beneath their feet that's as timeless, durable, and, well, as awesome as they are. Boyd's Carpet, 115 West Fire Towel Road in Winterville. 
Call them at 321-7066. Hey, I'm Chip Davis. Welcome to East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep. Come on in. We've got 0% financing for 72 months and savings up to $11,000. Try out a Dodge Dart, Chrysler 200, Jeep Wrangler, or a new Ram truck. We have the largest selection of inventory to choose from in Eastern North Carolina, and we have a vehicle for you. Save thousands at the President's Day event and Ram Truck Month in February. East Carolina Chrysler Dodge Jeep, across from the Cracker Barrel in Greenville. HomeFest 15 is coming up on March 7th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Greenville Convention Center. We're excited to be giving away another Dream Kitchen prize and also the addition of the Man Cave. But today, we're here to talk to Aspen's Tops East, Rodney and Jenny, so they can tell us what you can see at their booth at HomeFest. We fabricate and install granite, quartz, and marble countertops, and at our booth, we'll have samples of our material, the different colors, and uh, we'll have displays there and photos of you know, previous jobs we've done. And uh, if you'd like to bring your floor plan in or your cabinet layout, we can do a quote, a quick quote for you while you, you, know, while you walk around. And uh, just looking forward to being there. We hope to see you at Home Fest 15 on March 7th at the Greenville Convention Center. Uh, McGee mysteriously walked out of the studio during the commercial break, and now he's back. Did, were you out there trying to sneak I, I, in? No, I was just making sure that everybody Cutter was Creek actually manned purchases. and ready to take the phone calls. He's going to be flooding this sta station line in about five minutes. You gave him your credit card, didn't you? And no, said, go ahead and buy. Not, you know, just, Do you think you're getting said, special look, treatment? No, if there are any left over, I said, I'd love to have a couple. The phones have been ringing, and Christine, our business manager, has been threatening the switchboard operators. If you sell any before 9 o'clock, you're fired. <laughs> so, yeah. so stand by. We are now down to uh, three minutes and counting for the start of the golf season here on the Talk of the Town Golf Club. Half price golf. We're going to be doing this uh, all through the spring, but uh, you know this will be the only time probably uh, this time of year that we're going to do Cutter Creek. And so coming up in, uh, in uh, just a couple of minutes here, get ready to dial. The telephone numbers again to dial this morning if you want to buy half price golf at Cutter Creek, 355 8822. You can try 355 1037. If both lines are busy, I'm telling you, if you want them, you got to keep calling because uh, they're going to go fast this morning. I can tell phone lines have already been ringing, people getting ready to dial in. I'll give you the signal. And uh, you'll be able to buy some half-price coupons for one of the best golf courses in the state of North Carolina, without a doubt. If you hadn't played Cutter Creek, it's it's about, what, 15 minutes from Kinston, about 30 minutes from Greenville, something like that. Green about County, right. beautiful, beautiful layout uh, there up near Hookerton, North Carolina. All right, uh, it's going to be sunny today. Uh, yesterday was gloomy all day and overcast and cloudy. Today's going to be nice, yeah. And the wind chill is not going to be as bad today. Either sunshine and a high temperature around 47 today. Clear in 32 tonight. A slight chance of showers coming in on Thursday afternoon. But uh, sunshine, it's only about a 20% chance of rain tomorrow. High temperature is more about 55 to 57 degrees. And then uh, Thursday night, it gets very cold, down to 21 degrees. And Friday is only going to get up to 36. Looks like Saturday's uh, temperature is going to be up in the 40s. And then on Sunday, the coldest, I heard Jim Howard this morning say Sunday is going to be the coldest day of the year. Expected high temperatures are only up between 30 and 32 degrees. That's going to be the high mm. on mm -hmm. Sunday. So if we've got any wind on Sunday, you know what kind of day it is going to be. It is going to be cold. All right, thanks to all our guests this morning. Great to see some of the uh, North Penn High School team in here this morning. Uh, good luck to them as they continue on their journey with uh, their, their dream season. And uh, also thanks to Christina from Alpha Phi who was in here this morning. Thanks to Billy Weaver. Thank you, McGee. You're welcome. Thank Coach Carr. Thank you, Michael. Thank all of you good people for being here this morning. And now, as we say goodbye, it is coming up on 9 o'clock. You may dial now to buy Cutter Creek Golf Passes at half price, $25 per round. Dial us right now. The switchboard operators are ready at 355-8822. 
355-8822. You can also try 355-1037. Good luck. Everybody have a, uh, a nice Wednesday. And don't forget, we'll be live at 400 St. Andrews Friday morning for our Rep Express Community Breakfast. Free to everybody. Make plans to be with us Friday morning. Have a good day, everybody.